Welcome back to Give Me a Chance to Farm. Uh, hope everybody's having a happy Halloween. Uh, today's kind of a busy day because of being Halloween. Uh, we had farmer's market this morning. So we got everybody out here fed at about 5.30 in the morning. And then uh, now we're going to come out here. With, uh, that early we didn't want to open up the... I did. I opened oh. it. I guess you did. So it's already open. Mm -hmm. I just didn't see any of them outside, so I didn't know. Uh, well, we can check, might for... check for eggs real quick, huh? Naturally, he's gonna be loud. There's one over here on the. Yep. She laid one. Katie just ooh just laid one because it's still kind of warm. Mm -hmm. So far, we've got two hooks. We got one trying to get out. Oh, that's the one that was in the chicken hospital. Mm -hmm. around her friends anymore. She likes being by herself, so. Um, oh, I guess I'm riding that light, aren't I? Yep, the light's a little. All right, so. Uh, cows are outside. Everybody's still doing good. Uh, Rosie's still doing good, staying with everybody like she's supposed to. Uh, obviously nothing wrong with his lungs. Rooster's being obnoxious like normal. <laughs> yep. Um, yesterday we ended up putting some more wood chips on the outside uh, in the chicken pen. That way they can uh, break that down for us. Um, got the goat stall cleaned. Put the cleanings out there before I put the mulch down. That way I could throw the mulch on top of it. That way they can compost it for us. So that way we're using what uh, Justin says, uh, Justin Road says that Joel Salatin calls the carbon diaper, I guess. Uh, so we're basically using the mulch out there to cover up the bare ground. That way the chickens can break it down while they're out there. And it'll mix in with their manure and it'll actually turn into a nice compost. We can use that next year for the garden uh, we plan on kind of letting it go out there over winter and then in the springtime i'll clear that off use it on the garden and uh plant some more grass seed out there that way we can have more grass in that area again next year and kind of start the process all over again Rosie. Mm. Yeah, they're all still standing here. Because we're out here, they think it's feeding time again. See, sometimes they don't understand that even though we come out here quite frequently, <laughs> it seems like they think every time we come out here, it's time for a treat. All right, so we stopped back in from trigger treating long enough to do our nighttime feeding real quick. Uh, we left the girls in their costumes, so Brittany and I are gonna knock the nighttime feeding out real quick, and then we will uh, get back on the road again. We've got a uh, trunk or treating event to go to tonight, so I'm 
gonna go ahead and give the goat some hay real quick. Not quite as easy to do one-handed <laughs> when you're used to doing everything two hands. We'll wait on Brittany to help. Alright, I'll go in here. Gotta feed the cats. We ended up having to put this bungee cord on the cat's feeder because they ended up learning how to reach up there and pull the lever down on the bottom of the feeder. So. tonight and get this done. Oh, gotta get in there. One more time. I need the bell of hay. Take the bell of hay back here. I'm just gonna put it right outside the back door. little bit muddy out there still it's been cool today and the sun's been out but temperature hasn't been that great I think well we had a freeze warning this morning so it definitely didn't get too warm we were indoors at the farmers market but even in there they ended up having to kick the heat on in the show barn it was kind of chilly so I was about to say the fence is still on so okay all right here there's Rosie she was getting a little food at the moment but mama was going somewhere else Yeah, not so much. That's what those two are waiting for. What are you doing, Hershey? Huh? What you doing? Step on this one. You got it. Nope. Yeah. Oh. Raven and Cherokee. It's raining hay. No baby out there again. There we go. All over again. So, uh, just a reminder: we do have our uh, 
YouTube live is going to be going on tonight at 6 p.m. So, or, well, tomorrow night, but it'll be tonight when the video is shown at least. So, November 1st at 6 p.m., we'll be going live on YouTube and uh, we'll be celebrating us passing 100 subscribers to our channel. So, we'll also be doing questions and answers and we will be talking more about some upcoming things that we have going here on the property and uh, plans that we have of some changes coming in uh, the next year. So, hope everybody enjoys the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully you'll join us on our live chat. So, we'll see you on the next one.